Elena, you forgot to sterilize operating room three. Oh, sorry. I'll do it right away. Jeez, what's gotten into you? I know you're upset about losing the competition, but you have to get over it. You're bringing everyone down. Where are the doctors? The director asked to see them. Yikes, that doesn't sound good. In these times of skyrocketing medical costs, there remains a ray of hope for those in need. Only one doctor provides life-saving surgery free of charge. This is wish come true, miracle surgery. How can you stand to watch that? I'm not watching it because I want to. Is it your penance for the fiasco? The Secretary of Health and Welfare is furious, but that's to be expected. However, no one is blaming you two since you performed a flawless operation. I called you here for another reason. Take a look at this. A letter? How old-fashioned. Dear Caduceus staff, congratulations on your recent appearance on Miracle Surgery. Seeing you perform that operation on national television really inspired me. That's why I believe it's now my turn to make an appearance. Is this guy a doctor trying to promote himself? Or is this another challenge? Keep reading. I'm afraid it's more serious than that. What you encountered at Concordia was care, the hand. And in Marilyn you received Soma, the body. But now I shall reveal Ops, the eye, for the entire country to witness. I assure you it will be something to behold. The miracle of modern times, stigma. He knows about stigma? It appears so. That's why I couldn't just ignore this. Is he the one who created it? Is he the one who kidnapped Professor Wilkins? We've contacted the producers of Miracle Surgery, but they're not taking the threat seriously. I'm starting to feel like Mr. Wilkins is behind everything. Um. Yeah, it's, he's a little suspicious. But okay. Now, the affected area is about to be exposed. Wait. This isn't an ulcer? What the... What is this? I... I just need to use my healing touch. No! I can't keep up with it! It's a new type of stigma. Bello can't handle this. Even with his skills, he doesn't know how to deal with it. Let's go, Marcus. Ma'am, please contact the studio and order them to suspend the operation immediately. Elena's coming with us. What is this focus? My, my healing touch. Healing touch. Leo? Leo, are you all right? I can't any more. Leo, Leo! Hold yourself together. You, you have to finish the operation. Step aside. We'll complete the operation. He pushed himself too hard. I guess he doesn't know his own limit. Make sure you take good care of him. The patient's already been opened up, but her vitals are stable. Whoever wrote that letter called this stigma Ops, which means eye or something, right? I do see something that looks like an eye, but I have no idea what its function is. Did you notice anything while Dr. Bello was operating? There was some sort of reaction at the core. Everything have a core over here? But it seemed like it needed energy. I haven't seen anything like it before. So the key to this operation is to not activate the core. Team Caduceus has suddenly burst into the operating room here at Miracle Surgery. Will they save face from their defeat the other day? Will they get their revenge on Dr. Bellow? There's only one thing we can do. We have to pray that they can perform a miracle. Revenge has nothing to do with this. We're here because there's a patient in need. That's right. This is what Caduceus does.
ready to begin the operation. Team Caduceus is about to take over the operation that struck down even our own Dr. Leonardo Bello. That stupid announcer lost his cool for a minute, but it looks like he's back to his annoying self. This is a new strain of stigma. Please, be careful. So this is ops. The tissue covers a wide area, but we should focus on removing the central core. We should be able to burn it with the laser. Let's begin. It discharged something. We'd better drain it in case... The patient's vitals suddenly drop. What's going on? We have an analysis report from the lab. The material being discharged from the ends are nutrients. If these nutrients reach the core, it will activate and cause severe damage to the nervous system. We have to eliminate the discharges before they reach our... There are no problems with the drain this time. Keep it up. Burnt. The discharge has been incinerated. Continue the treatment. Oh, no! A mystery tumor has appeared within the afflicted area. Everyone watching at home, I implore you to pray for the patient and these young doctors. What in the world just... The core's activation caused the tumor to burst. It's wreaking havoc on the patient's vitals. Concentrate on treating the tumors first. caused the tumor to burst. It's wreaking havoc on the patient's vitals. Concentrate on treating the tumors first. Incinerated. Now, for the next one. The second core has been incinerated. Oh, oh! Caduceus has successfully driven out the unknown pathogen. It's... it's over. Well, we must have put on one hell of a show. I'm glad we were able to save this person. Please put your hands together for the heroes who saved another precious life on Miracle Surgery! It's a miracle, folks! We've just witnessed a true miracle! Two new stars have been born right before our very... Give me that mic. Ladies and gentlemen, what you saw today is a new intractable disease known as stigma. It's a serious disease that's still a mystery to us. But Caduceus has been researching potential countermeasures. And because of that, we were able to save this patient's life. That's part of our mission at Caduceus. 
I think it's important for the public to understand what our organization is all about. I believe that those of us in the medical field have two major responsibilities. One is to help patients with existing conditions. The other is to arm ourselves against new diseases that may arise. So in other words, Caduceus is fighting for all of our futures. Valerie, why don't you start wrapping it up? Every doctor is a part of this fight, so please, consult your local physician if you experience any unusual symptoms. And if necessary, feel free to contact us as well. That's all I have to say. We at Caduceus hope to continue serving you. Oh, and by the way, this will be the last episode of Miracle Surgery. Good night. This is Mr. Nelson, the president of Humana. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. I saw you on Miracle Surgery. The two of you are quite talented. As a leader in the field of medicine, I was deeply moved by your speech. You're giving us more credit than we deserve. We couldn't have done it without Cynthia and Isabella's help. Oh, don't be silly. It is we who are indebted to you. Because of your television appearance, our products have gained greater exposure. So, are you here to show us your latest product? <laughs> no, 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 nothing of the sort. I stopped by simply to express my gratitude. Are there any hockey fans in the room? How do box seats sound? Nice check! We have to get back on the offensive! We can't let them dominate the park! Being from Alaska, you must be a Pukoks fan, huh, Dr. Vaughn? Uh, actually, I was only there for a brief stint, so... Care for some crab cakes? They're a specialty here. I'll pass. Thanks, though. Crab cakes are a specialty at a fucking hockey game. Well, I guess we're at box seats, so... Valerie? Elena? How about you two? Sure, I'll try one. Thanks. Oh, they look delicious. Thank you. Can't believe that Elena's got that sorry ass jacket still. Get a better one! I heard you all worked for Concordia in LA before you came here. You must be worried about Professor Wilkins. We were transferred to Caduceus because of that incident. Unfortunately, he's still missing. Has there been any progress in the investigation? They believe the professor's disappearance is related to stigma. That letter we received was pretty creepy. Who was it from? The FBI is trying to find out, but so far no clues. He taunted us with his pathetic dribble. Even a chimpanzee could write a better letter. A chimpanzee, huh? That's rather harsh. Oh, no! Not another offsides! Cynthia. Please do whatever you can to assist our associates with their stigma research. Yes, sir. Oh, that was brutal. Did, did you see that? He hit him so hard his stick broke. Who was that? It wasn't the hammer, was it? He sounds like he's groaning. Yeah, looks like he hurt his elbow. I can't just sit here. I have to do something. Dr. Vaughn, Dr. Blaylock, would you come with me, please? Where are we going? The promoter is a friend of mine. I'd like to introduce you to him. He'd be thrilled to meet two of our country's finest doctors. Hmm. Our patient, Mr. Gunderson, seems quite agitated. He said that he'll let us decide whether to use a general or a local anesthetic. Hmm. I wonder if our anesthetic will even affect him if he's that worked up. Perhaps you could try using this. It's a powerful new anesthetic our company developed. It has a much smaller risk of side effects and allergic reactions than others currently on the market. Is this anesthesia still being tested? <laughs> Good heavens, no. It's already been approved. It just hasn't been used much yet, so it's not very well known. 
I'd be thankful if it attracted some attention after being used on a sports celebrity like this. Well then, we'll try out the anesthetic from your company. He just happened to have it in his pocket. Here you go. About the patient. His elbow ligament is torn, and a fragment of a hockey stick is lodged in his biceps brachii. It's a wonder that he doesn't seem to be in much pain with a wound like that. The objectives in this operation are to reconnect the ligaments and remove the fragment. I'm counting on you all. Let's get started. Let's begin the pr The anesthesia seems to be working well. Please begin by treating the external wounds. All external wounds have been treated. Next, we need to make an incision and treat the torn ligaments in his elbow. The ligament's completely torn, and that stick fragment's embedded pretty deep. It's completely penetrated the muscle, so we need to extract it carefully. In order to treat the ligament, we will first connect the torn ligaments with the forceps and then suture them together. Keep that in mind during the operation. All right, please continue with the operation. Take note of the direction the fragment Huh? Pull it out and place it in the truck. The stick fragment. What would cause this sudden convulsing? I... I don't know. There wasn't anything in his charts that would have suggested this. But... But we don't have a choice. We have to continue. Just be careful. We'll have to wait for the muscle to stop convulsing before we can proceed. Doctor, the muscle's starting to convulse again. Let's wait until the convulsing subsides. Those convulsions were really strong. Temporarily halt the procedure if you notice any more muscle spasms. We can't continue the treatment while the muscle's convulsing. So temporarily halt the procedure if you notice any spasms. Connected. Please be careful. I don't know how I'm supposed to connect them. Pull the ligament straight. Don't let go until you've pulled it straight to the other side. You've connected a ligament. Oh. Please do the same with the others. That's weird. You're doing great. Please continue. We are almost done. You've connected all the torn ligaments. Now please suture the connected areas. ligament has been treated. Let's move on to the others. Oh, it broke. Two ligaments have been sutured. We're almost done. Connected. The stick fragment has been removed, and the wound it created has been treated. It seems the patient's convulsions have subsided, so let's try to finish up here. Okay, let's close him up. 
about the muscle spasms that occurred during the operation. And we should receive a more detailed report from the lab in the next few days. Could the convulsions have been caused by the new anesthetic? We can't rule out anything at this point. Well, we're finished here. Nice job. It'll take about six months for you to fully recover. Your elbow was in pretty bad shape. I'm sure you'll heal fast though, Mr. Thor the Hammer Gunderson. Ugh, six months? I'll miss the rest of the season! Are you experiencing any discomfort? Do you have any numbness from the anesthesia? Well, my elbow's all jacked up. But other than that, <laughs> I feel great. You feel great. <laughs> yeah, I beat the snot out of Woodman in my dreams. Wait till I get my hands on him for real. He's gonna be DOA. <laughs> we should report this to President Nilsson. He should know that there is a high probability the new anesthesia may not work if the patient's excited. We have discovered two unique characteristics of stigma. First, its genetic information is stored in a film-like architecture. That alone differentiates it from organisms such as ourselves, whose genetic code is stored in chains. So it's like a two-dimensional barcode then? As opposed to a regular barcode, which only stores information linearly? The other unique characteristic is that it requires a special type of metal for growth. It only requires a minuscule amount, but without it, stigma cannot survive. I wish I could say the discovery was mine, but it's Cynthia who deserves the credit. It was her keen insight that led to the breakthrough. And exactly what type of metal are you referring to? Oh, I beg your pardon. It's a rare alloy known as collurium. It has attracted considerable attention as of late. That explains it. Explains what, Marcus? Oh, nothing. I was just surprised to hear that, that's all. Collurium is used in various fields, but primarily the medical industry. Although it's only been in use for 10 years, there are already numerous applications. Electrodes, as an ingredient in medicine, the synthetic heme for artificial blood. It's used in cutting-edge medical technology, to be certain. I can't believe Kanai is missing an important conference like this. If it was me who wasn't here, I'd never hear the end of it. Oh, I'm being paged. If you'll excuse me, ma'am. Let's go, Val. I'll fill you in later on anything important you miss. What's the situation, Elena? There's been an accident. I think one of the patients is Dr. Tsuji. What? Kanai? One of the two patients being transferred here is in serious condition. He sustained multiple injuries and will probably require an emergency operation. I'm sorry. I can't believe my stupid cousin. It's alright, Kanai. Just take it easy. Seems like you may have sprained your neck. Let's have Dr. Everett take a look. I'm sorry, Marcus. I should be the one operating on my cousin. What are you talking about? Look at the condition you're in. I said some harsh things to Kashiro this morning, so he must have been distracted, and it... 
It's all my fault. Don't worry, your cousin will be fine. It's unlike you to fall apart at the seams. Yeah, you're right. Marcus, Valerie, take good care of Kashiro for me, all right? The patient is a 31-year-old Asian male who was injured in a car accident. He sustained several internal injuries, including a burst liver, and we suspect he has a massive amount of internal bleeding. We won't know for sure until we take a look inside, but depending on the patient's condition, we may need to focus on... I agree. We should treat the area and stop the... The objective of this operation is to treat the damaged liver. Let's do our best. Okay, let's get started. I'm about to run out of um, battery on the uh, the game recorder, so if this gets cut off, then it's whatever. Let's begin the procedure. As I explained before, we expect there to be large amount. Be aware of the patient's vitals at all times during the op. Okay, please open him up. As we expected, the hemorrhaging is quite severe. First, let's drain this blood and assess the situation. The patient's undergoing cardiac arrest. I'll ready the defibrillator. We have a pulse. But in this condition, he won't last very long if we continue. You're right. We should wait until he's recovered a bit before we begin the main procedure. Let's treat the bleeding and the less severe injuries to control the damage. We'll also seal the injuries to the liver with synthetic membranes to keep it from getting worse. Okay, begin by draining the blood. This injury appears... Let's see if there's this much hemorrhaging. There's an irregularity on the EKG. Doctor, please be careful. Luckily... The heart didn't. Let's get the less severe injuries under control. Let's treat the other mo- We have to keep an eye on his vitals while we treat- The EKG is showing an irregularity. Monitor his pulse. We are done treating the left. His heart is fibrillating. The patient's undergoing cardiac arrest. Use the defibrillator to respect- We have a pulse. Please keep an eye on his vitals as well. Slowly sealing it will reduce the hemorrhaging. You're halfway done, Doctor. If the heart begins... It's hemorrhaging again. Drain the blood and... If we seal it with a membrane, we can reduce the bleeding. We're almost there. The hemorrhaging from the injured area has been treated. Let's secure the membranes with the antibiotic used. The injury has been completely sealed by the synthetic membranes. Close him up for now. We'll treat the rest of his injuries at another time. Okay. Please close him up. patient's condition to improve before we continue treating him. Great work, everyone. There was severe bleeding, so we had to pack the liver. It's possible he'll need another operation. We'll have to monitor his progress. It was fortunate that Kanae didn't sustain any serious injuries. From what Justin told me, it won't be long before she can return to work. I hope she isn't straining herself. And also, I received a call from the FBI regarding Professor Wilkins' case. Any leads? They want to run background checks on all the professor's personal and professional contacts. They must be feeling the heat now that the public knows about stigma. I'm concerned, though, about how the kidnappers may react. Well, hopefully they'll be behind bars soon.